Hey everyone and welcome to another video and in this video we are ready to start creating challenges and in order to do that we have to set up Firebase so we can use it in our app. So head over to your browser and navigate to firebase.google.com and click on go to console in the top right here and we're going to create a project and I will call this one increment and click continue and we're going to continue on the analytics and set the account as the default one and then click create project and then once that's completed you can click continue here and you can click this iOS and it says um, some steps that you need to follow to set up Firebase in your app and the first one is grabbing the bundle identifier so head over to your project settings, click on this general tab and just copy the bundle identifier here and then paste it into this box and click register app. And the second thing we need to do is download this config file called google service-info.plist. So go ahead and do that and then we're going to open the file in the finder and we are going to head back to Xcode and drag the plist into our project here and click finish and when you've done that you can head back over to the Firebase console and click next and this is where we're going to be adding our actual pods so we're going to be using CocoaPods and what we need to do for this is head to the terminal and the base directory of our app and type pod init and if you're getting an error here just go and install CocoaPods and now that we've typed pod init you'll see that we have this pod file that we can edit so head over to a text editor and open your pod file and under where it says pods for increment we are going to copy this analytics pod here and paste it into our pod file and then there's three more that we need to add to the first one is going to be firebase slash auth and this is for authentication the second one will be firebase slash firestore and this is our database and the third one we need to add is firebase firestore swift and that's just to have Firebase behave nicely with Swift and once you've added those four you can come back to your terminal here and you can type pod install dash dash verbose and the verbose just gives us a bit more detail in the logging in case something goes wrong and once that's finished you can go and close Xcode and you can reopen it with this XC workspace uh, file and I'm just going to make sure I open it with the right version of Xcode, Xcode 12 and once you've done that you can see that the pods are now included in our workspace here these are all the pods that we just installed and we can head back over to the Firebase console and we can click next and now we need to add some initialization code for Firebase to be set up and you'll notice that this is asking us to put code in the app delegate but in our project if we go to our entry point here and we get rid of this canvas and make a bit more space we can see that we don't actually have an app delegate so what we need to do here is actually use a property wrapper at UI application delegate adapter and we're going to tell it that we want to use the app delegate dot self and then just type var app delegate and underneath we can type class uh, app delegate and make sure that this is an ns object and UI application delegate here and we're going to have a function did finish launching with options and just return true there and
And what we're going to do is have a print statement here just to check that this is actually being triggered when we launch the app, saying setting up Firebase. And at the top here, let's import Firebase. And then we can put our setup code, which is Firebase app dot configure here. And then if we run this app, we will hopefully see this print statement and a bunch of Firebase logging to tell us that this has been installed correctly. So the first time you run this, it will take a while. So let's just wait a moment. And once the app starts to launch, we should see some logging very shortly. So we can expand this and have a quick look. So here we go, here's our print statement and here's the Firebase logging that we were expecting, which is great. And if we go back over to our Firebase console now and click next, we should see that this um, detects that we have installed Firebase correctly. And sometimes it takes an extra run just to detect this. So we'll run it again and see what we get. And there we go. So everything's been added successfully and you can continue. And that is how you set up Firebase with a Swift UI 2.0 app. So I'll see you for the next one.